I put the Pilsner away, although I'm kind of fond of that. I want to get acquainted with this lager. Besides, I only got three lagers left and five Pilsners. I think three ought to cover this chapter. I don't know. It's kind of a thirsty chapter. After a bit of a drought, Chapter 14 is, well, it's pretty fucked up, but it's also a hoot. It's really fucked up. <laughs> we start with a drink. That ain't, that ain't bad. <sighs> Music by B3Boy. Check out his channel. B3Boy. All one word. One. Oh, wait. Let's read the masthead. Alma and Amulek imprisoned. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Spoiled the story, I'm sorry. Well, they did it first. Their adherents, adherents, persecuted. Deaths by fire. Yeah. Zezrom. I almost called him Zezrom again. <laughs> Zezrom. Now, Rebecca. Penton pleads their cases and is cast out. The prophets delivered and their enemies slain. You know, I shouldn't have read that. Sorry. It's, that just totally ruined the story. Just for that, I'm going to take another drink. One. And it came to pass... After he had made an end of speaking unto the people, many of them began uh, to believe on his words and began to repent and to search the scriptures. Two, but the most part of them were desirous that they might destroy Alma and Amulek, for they were angry with Alma because of the plainness of the words unto Zezrom. <coughs> and they also said that Amulek had lied against them, and also, and wait, and had reviled against the laws, and also against the lawyers and judges. Three. And they were also angry with Alma, and Amulek, and because they had testified so plainly against their wickedness, they sought to put them away privily. A little borrowing from Matthew and the Nativity story. Put them away privily. Send them to the privy. Four. Uh, but it came to pass that they did not but they took them and bound them with strong cords and took them before the chief judge of the land after they spent three chapters in a, a, one long ass Horribly repetitive tirade. Uh, five. And the people went forth and witnessed against them, testifying that they had reviled against the law and their lawyers and judges of the land and also of all the people that were in the land and also testified that there was but one God, and that he should send his Son among the people. So now there's two. I guess not. <laughs> uh, 
He should send his son among the people, but he should also not save them. And many such things did the people testify against Alma and Amulek. Now, this was done before the chief judge of the land. Six. Ooh, that is nice. Simpler times, people. Trader Joe's. I don't think they'll mind. A little, you know, plug there. <clears throat> Six. And it came to pass that Zezram was astonished at the words which had been spoken, and he also knew concerning the blindness of the minds, which had which he had caused among the people by his lying words, and his soul began to be harrowed up under a consciousness of his own guilt. <clears throat> Yea. He began to be encircled about by the pains of hell. Seven. Simpler times, people. <laughs> Like that, it, like that was ever possible. Were there ever? <laughs> you look really hard at history. There never was a good old days. And that's too fucking bad. I like the idea of some good new days. <laughs> Who gives a fuck about the past? It's interesting, but now is what's happening. With dwelling on death, people, it's fucking pathetic. Seven. And it came to pass that he began to cry unto the people, saying, Behold, I am guilty, and these men are spotless before God. That's uh, Zezram talking. And he began to plead for them. From that time forth, but they reviled against him, saying, Art thou also possessed with the devil? So both sides are using the devil. <laughs> that devil, he's clever. He's using both sides. He's even in the church. <clears throat> there he went. And they spit upon him and cast him out from among them, and also all those who believed in the words which had been spoken by Alma and Amulek. And they cast them out, and sent men to cast stones at them. That was a long verse. So is this one. Eight. And they brought their wives and children together, and whosoever believed or had been taught to believe in the word of God, they caused that they should be cast into the fire. Well, these guys are running away. Eight. And they brought their wives and children together. And whosoever believed, or who had been taught to believe in the word of God, they caused that they should be cast into the fire. Like those horrible videos from Africa right now where they're burning people alive because they think they might be witches. Yeah, this is great shit to hang on to. Yeah, it's not holding people back at all. 
<sighs> anyway, that's the bad guys doing that. And they also brought forth their records and contain which contained the holy scriptures and cast them into the fire also. And God did nothing. How was that possible? <laughs> that they might be burned and destroyed by fire. That's uh, verse 8. Isn't that nice? What was God doing? All these... All right, all these people that believe, throw them in this fucking bonfire with the records. Ooh. Nine. And it came to pass that they took Alma and Amulek and carried them forth to the place of martyrdom, that they might witness the destruction of those who were consumed by fire. Pretty fucking dramatic. For a little while. Ten. And when Amulek saw the pains of the women and children who were <coughs> consuming in the fire, he also was pained, and he said unto Alma, How can we witness this awful scene? Therefore, let us stretch forth our hands and exercise the power of God, which is in us, and save them from the flames. 11. But Alma said unto him, The Spirit constraineth me that I must not stretch forth mine hand. For behold, the Lord receiveth them up unto himself in glory. Sorry about all that agony and shit, but and terror and you know. Glory. Thank you. Can I have another? Fucking hell. <laughs> and he does suffer that they must do this thing this thing as in being burned alive in the faith it's okay <laughs> this is horrible I'm sorry <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> he does suffer that they, they miss, may do this thing, or that the people may do this thing unto them, <laughs> according to the hardness of their hearts, the bad guys, <laughs> which shall exercise judgment upon them in his wrath. Uh, may be just, and the blood of the innocent shall stand as a witness against them. Yay! <laughs> this is Alma Jr. talking. This is how they talked. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh boy. According to the harding, hardness of their hearts, that the judgments which shall be exercised upon them in his wrath may be just, and the blood of the innocent shall stand as a witness against them. Yay! You're one articulate some bitch there, Alma Jr. And cry mightily against them at that last day. Twelve. Now, Amulek said unto Alma, Behold, perhaps thy will burns us also. Thirteen. And Alma said, They're having a conversation while people burn. 
<sighs> Just because. What the fuck? <laughs> Thirteen, and Alma said, Be it according to the will of the Lord. But, behold, our work is not finished. Therefore, they burn us not. Yeah, what's up with that? Makes no sense. Must be a fucking weird-ass, lame-ass miracle. Fourteen. Now it came to pass that when the bodies of those who had been cast into the fire were consumed, thank you, God, and also the records were cast in, in with them, what the fuck? Anything? Guess not. <laughs> the chief judge of the land came and stood before Alma and Amulek, and they were bound, and he smote them with his hand upon their cheeks. Is that the best you can do? <clears throat> And he said unto them, wonder what he said. After what ye have seen, will ye preach again unto this people? All those burned up people, I guess. Unless he wants to be morbid and hang around the graves and preach to their... <laughs> Preach to what people? The burned up people? What the fuck? That they shall be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. So they, the other people have hell too. Fifteen. Behold, ye see that ye have not power to save those who have been cast into the fire. Neither has God saved them because they were of thy faith. Oh, but, you know, better late than never, right? <laughs> Just saying. Whoops, a little late. <laughs> and the judge smote them again upon their cheeks <laughs> and asked, what say ye for yourselves? So he bitch slapped them. Sixteen. Now, this judge was after the order of the faith of Nehor. Guy who killed uh, uh, Maccabee. I no wait no no uh, Gideon. <laughs> Maccabee. What the fuck? <laughs> Sixteen. Now this judge was after the, yeah, uh, after the order of the faith in Evor, who slew Gideon. I gotta just stop jumping ahead here. Sorry. Seventeen. <laughs> ah, it's been a stressful week. Getting lubricated. And it came to pass that Alma and Amulek answered him nothing. And he smote them again. Shades of like, what's it? Which book is it? Which of gospel? I forgot which one. I don't know. He talks in some of them when Pilate's questioning him. In other ones, he doesn't say a fucking thing. Which made sense. I did that when I was in trouble when, as a kid. <laughs> uh, yeah, they said nothing. 
They're ready to be martyrs. <coughs> but we're going to rip off judges instead in the story of Samson. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to give it away. Uh, and he smote them again and delivered them to the officers to be cast in prison. Shades of Paul, you know, change of the book of Acts. Uh, 18, and when they had been cast into prison three days, there came many lawyers and judges and priests and teachers who were of the profession of Nehor. <laughs> and they came in unto the prison to see them, and they questioned them about many words. But they answered them nothing. Nineteen. I don't know. hope I have enough. I think I do. The last of the simpler time logger. Did I tell you this is my buddy uh, B3 boy? I'm pointing at my boombox, which is next to my laptop, which is recording this. B3 boy. Check him out. 19. And it came to pass that the judge stood before them and said, Why do ye not answer the words of this people? Know ye not that I have the I have power to deliver you unto the flames? <clears throat> and he commanded them to speak, but they answered him nothing. Twenty. <sighs> and it came to pass that they departed and went their ways, but came again on the morrow. But, uh, and the judge also smote them again on their cheeks. <laughs> and many came forth also and smote them, saying, Will ye stand again to judge this people and condemn our law? <clears throat> if ye have such great power, why do ye not deliver yourselves? Because Jesus didn't do it either. And if they did it, it'd be tacky. <laughs> to anyone. And many said such things. And many such things did they say unto them, gnashing their teeth upon them. Ooh, they bit them? Gnashing their teeth upon them, and spitting upon them, and saying, How shall ye look when ye are damned? <laughs> the other side seems to think they have righteousness. What the fuck? I guess if you're born in the right side, or get converted to the right side, and who knows which one that is, you're all right. You're gonna. You're good. Uh, Twenty-two and many such things. Yay! All manner of such things did they say unto them, and thus did they mock them for many days. And they did withhold food from them that they might hunger and water that they might thirst <laughs> and that also and they also did take from them their clothes <laughs> that they were naked. And thus they were bound with strong cords, 
and confined in prison. <coughs> Pretty fucking excessive there. 23. I guess not. <coughs> there it is. And it came to pass, after they had suffered for many days, parentheses, and it was on the twelfth day of in the tenth month, in the tenth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi, in parenthetical. <coughs> Just trying to be concise here. That the chief judge over the land of Ammonihah. That name I forgot. <laughs> Neglected to mention in past videos. Ammonihah. Shame on you. The new uh, Gibba of Benjamin here. And many of their teachers and their lawyers went. That's the end. And many of their teachers and their lawyers went in unto the prison where Am Alma and Amulek were bound with cords. 24. And the chief judge stood before them and smote them again and said unto them, If ye have the power of God, deliver yourselves from, the ban from these bands, and then we will believe that the Lord will destroy this people according to your words. 25. And it came to pass that they went forth and smote them. Smote. I think he's uh, overusing that word. Sorry. Bitch slap them. <laughs> went forth. They all went forth and smote them, saying the same words until the last. And when the last had spoken unto them, the power of God was a fun. Alma and Amulek, and they rose and stood on their feet, shades of Nephi, one time. The other time he was tied to the mast, held a long time, and God suffered it to happen. He suffered that you should suffer. Thanks. Glad you're there. If you're there, chime in anytime. Uh, where the fuck am I? 26. And Alma cried, saying, How long shall we suffer these great afflictions, O Lord? He broke. O oh Lord, give us strength according to our faith, which is in Christ, you selfish prick. You let people burn. And you got magic. You fucker. Oh, yeah, please self, save me. Oh, and my buddy. Fuck you. I love this chapter. It pisses me off, but I love it. <laughs> Give us strength according to our faith, which is in Christ, who is... It's now B.C. 81. Whoa! It's... He won't be born for at least 81 years, give or take. A lot. If at all. <laughs> give 
even to strengthen our faith in Christ, even unto deliverance. And they broke the bonds which they, uh, with which they were bound. And when the people saw this, they began to flee, for the fear of destruction had come upon them. 27. it. <laughs> 27. And it came to pass that so great was their fear that they fell to the earth. Shades of Alma Jr. and the Mosiah Boys. We're just recycling all kinds of shit in this gold-plated piece of shit. They fell to the earth and did not obtain the outer door of the prison. <coughs> okay. And they did not obtain the outer door of the prison and the earth shook Mightily shades of the book of Matthew. Matthew loves earthquakes and the earth breaking open, even like zombies coming out of their graves. Matthew's kind of fun that way. He's a. I like a good bull, bullshitter. I hate bad ones, but I like a good one. I'll sit there and listen to somebody bullshit me, and I'll go, sure, keep going. Enjoying it. Go on. Uh, go. <laughs> it's great. Oh, uh, the earth shook mightily, and the walls of the prison were rent in twain, <laughs> so that they fell to the earth, and a chief judge and the lawyers <laughs> and priests and teachers. Who smote Alma and Amulek were slain in the fall thereof. Like I said, shades of Samson and the Philistines. The Philistines. Of which I guess I can count myself. 28. And Alma and Amulek came forth out of the prison and they were not hurt. Fuck you guys. All those believers, women and children, and people who trusted you. What are you, one of the people, the Bushes? <laughs> yeah, rise up against Saddam and the U.S. is behind you. Way fucking behind you. Way back here doing something else. For the Lord had granted unto them power according to their faith, which was in Christ. What about those other guys? Oh, that's right. They're in heaven. Probably forming a daisy chain as we speak. They're forming a daisy chain. Because they're all happy. And they've already forgotten all that suffering, right? Fucking assholes. If this is true, fuck you. <laughs> uh, for the Lord had granted unto them power according to their faith, which was in Christ, and they straight they straightway came forth out of the prison, and they were loosed from their bonds, and the prison had fallen to the earth. And every soul within the walls thereof, save it were Alma and Amulek, was slain, and they straightway came forth into the city. 
29. Fuck you guys, by the way. Now, the people having heard a great noise came running together by multitudes to know the cause of it. And when they saw Alma and Amulek coming forth out of the prison with rosy red cheeks, handprints on their fucking faces, they deserve much worse, those fuckers. Miracle man who did fucking nothing. Oh, heaven's better, trust us. Suffer and you'll... And the walls, therefore, had fallen to the earth. They were struck with great fear, all these other people. And fled from the presence of Alma and Amulek. Even as a goat fleeth from her young, with her young, from two lions, two of them! And thus they did flee from the presence of Alma and Amulek, those two lions who had a conversation while people burned and then saved their own asses. Oh, that's the end of uh, 14. And uh, fuck you if it's true. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Thanks for watching all this bullshit. And uh, I have to do this. It's an OCD thing. I have to finish. Even though it sucks. I'm sorry. I gotta finish. Thank you for suffering with me. Bye.